oh gosh it's jordan and her husband and it's like he came back like oh girl you're selling my horses <laughs> We are starting our episode off here with KT. She's been having a hard time sleeping since her husband Jordan passed away. She is just trying to get everything ready. She has decided to move with her daughter Lena and her family, but she hasn't been sleeping well. So she's going to actually try to sleep in Lena's bed. If she can just get a little bit of rest, she is going to go ahead and sell the horses as it is she's had a hard time uh, she's taking a little nap but she's having a hard time just deciding what to take what's too much let's kind of look at it i think she's definitely going to take the wine racks she has all of these trophies because she's a master horse rider <laughs> so i think we'll just put all of these in her inventory this is a hard transition for kt she's got more trophies over here I think she will go ahead and get these posters and put in her inventory. She may take the treadmill because uh, she may give it to Lena. Lena and K.A. likes to work out as well because he's an athlete. She's thinking that some of the kids may want this stuff. She would love to take Joshua's handprints with her. There's definitely some pictures that she wants to... Uh, decorate her little tiny home with she's gonna take this doctor's kid because she's pretty sure the girls might like that as well their marriage certificate those things she will keep so how kt is gonna do this she talked to lena lena and ka have been using the secondary home as a rent house but lena assured her that they had always had these things in mind and now she's feeling sick to boo so she's gonna take some medicine and hopefully it doesn't make her worse but right now, she's just saying her goodbyes to the horses. This is Sonny Hurd, who is the oldest horse. And he is an elder. He was the oldest of the two offspring from Buttermilk and Dunn. So what he she's going to do is go ahead and sell him. And she waved bye to Sonny, and Sonny dipped his head. Oh, gosh, it's Jordan and her husband. And it's like he came back like, oh, girl, you're selling my horses. <laughs> she is going to just have a conversation with him maybe he's his ghost is really here but maybe this is in her mind it's funny because his ghost even looks younger but she did let him know that she never thought that she would be doing life without him like she knew one of them would have to leave she's gonna come out here and hug jordan and then she's going to get over here and sell glue who is also an elder and their mom done is still living because of her resurrection and uh kt is going to move the next time you see her and her and jordan are talking about the move good but morning good afternoon and good night you're watching just a mom that sims i'm kt and i'm here today with another herd family legacy adventure so if you like my content and you like to have a little fun please consider liking subscribing following comment to hit the notification bell just do all the things so yes i really meant comment i love talking to you all in the comments but i have oh, lena and kt here kt is settling into her new home we're gonna go back over control to her to see if we can get a picture frame up here in this corner i don't think we could get one here but maybe we can fit one here on this bookshelf she's definitely gonna consolidate her remaining photos and put some on the walls here she's gonna swap out get her a nicer tv she's definitely in her final <laughs> phase of life oh, lena's yeah. just giving her mom the quick oh, tour no. because she's seen no. this little house but no. you know no. she's kind of come and gone in there no. lena is just okay. hugging her mom like she's just so happy to have her here you can see that she's still oh, kind of looking young she's dressing with some style she's as young as she feels but sometimes unfortunately lately that has been old but lena's gonna offer her mom encouragement she's gonna tell her really make this place your own because we don't need the simoleons we're only renting this to you and they rent it at zero dollars so let me show you one thing i did forget to do was extend that lease out but it'll we'll let it auto renew but yeah we set the rent at zero lena is just giving her a kiss and telling her just reminding her don't take too much time you come and spend as much time with the kids as possible and kt is fully embracing that and she's saying that she of course will take care of the place oh, we will get okay. rid of this toddler bed now we do not need it at this point you can see their relationship is beautiful so with that lena's gonna go back to the main house she is going to harvest 
the fruits and vegetables for the, from the garden on her way back. She puts those in the fridge and it helps keep their, keep their grocery costs down, especially back when they were really struggling with funds. We are here with K.A. He is fixing the sink while Liliana is on her way to get some food. However, I am really waiting for Lena to wake up because she is going to go ahead and make the triplets a birthday cake so that they can get ready to age up because it is about that time. Our little youngest addition to the house carly is sleeping in her crib but she will definitely be up soon so i'm hoping that ka can be done in time to get her when she awakens i do think that the laptop is broken as well so i think maybe he should go ahead and repair that now i see carmen is up they are ecstatic about the idea of their grandmother living behind them now <laughs> They've got sleeping bags still outside. We really need to clean up the house. And here's their grandmother right here. She is hanging around out front. So I think I'm going to have Liliana. Oh, I was going to have her ex to help her home with her homework. But, oh, you know what? Their grandmother is revolting. Did y'all just see that sign pop up? She does not even pay rent here. So what is she revolting about? I'm going to chalk this up to this probably being a huge adjustment for her so i'm just yeah, going to yeah. click on her and she's so happy to see don out here sleeping <laughs> that's her about her day and i guess she's going in and out of protesting so i'm not seeing the tenant actions available so she's saying everything is good so i don't know why she's doing a tenant revolt not as bad now girl <laughs> what is the problem I'm just going to promise her better conditions and maybe she'll calm down. I really think this just is an adjustment for her because really she's going from the ranch life where she had a huge ranch. She just had unlimited space. But I think if she really takes her time to think about it, she will probably realize that the old house was too big for her. So K.A. is getting our sweet little Carly up. I just think she's the cutest. I love her hairstyle. It may be by Shaw Simbler. Desiree Landgrab. Now, she was our tenant along with it looked like the whole Landgrab family. So I don't know why she's here, but I do know what to do. We're going to absolutely ignore her. It is Harvest Fest. Liliana. Where is she? She's making a mess. Not in her parents' room. But you know what? I'm just going to gently discipline her because I feel like she's just acting out a little bit because of the death of her grandfather. They were always close as they could be. They had 100% relationships. We are going to give her a hug to let her know we Chubby love boo. her. But Aww. Lena is going to make her clean up that mess because on, we're not on that level day. of gentle parenting. <laughs> so she, she better get to cleaning up. Let's go to the granny's recipe book and let's pick desserts i think we'll just do the birthday cake let's check out the triplet skills since they are about to age up liliana maxed out all of her skills so every skill that she's developing now is an adult section um, you should keep looking for your toy gabriel you know what let's look at gabriel because oh he doesn't age up for 14 days so the good thing is we do have time to work with him KT is cold outside. I don't know why she's out here with short sleeves on, but we're going to go ahead and invite her in. I can have Carmen share Harvest Fest excitement. I got to get KA out here to brush the horse's coat and just to do a little care with Don. After you resurrect the horse, how much longer do they live? Because I just felt like it was an experiment. I hate to say it, but I did not think Don was going to live this long <laughs> This horse is too much responsibility. KT and Carmen have a strict family dynamic. I'm going to say no. KT is just going through it. That's all. Let's go over to Carmen real quick. Carmen is doing well except for creativity, which she's doing good, but she's a level seven. Her other three skills are maxed out. That makes sense for Carmen because Carmen is very smart, very logic-centered. Creativity is not her strong suit. Leland is very creative and social, and he's got motor skills, but his mental skill is a level four. I like to age my sims up two days out. AA is over here feeding the baby. And I'm going to show you why I love this game. You saw Lena getting fire in her mind when she looked at K.A. feeding their baby. And how she was looking at him. Oh, my gosh. I think we're going to let Lena go ahead and plan a party. 
Lena has planned the birthday party for the triplets. They really kind of thought if this was something they should do or not, but ultimately decided that they are going to do that. Something very weird happened when the game had the glitches because even though you may be seeing this later, I played this during the time that we were having a lot of glitches from the update. So I want to show you what happened. So bear with me a second. I'm going to go to their inventory look it's like everything in their house look system error is uh -huh. irking me because it's clogging up my inventory and i actually had about eight items in here like this see it was able to come out i have no easy way to know what is glitched and what is not other than to try to put down everything sorry about that back to gameplay lena is going to have to get back up soon so she can start cooking for the party the party is going to be well friday is today now because it's 1 a.m so it'll be friday at 5 p.m the family is going to actually travel for the triplets party because they're aging up to teens so it's going to be like a mini vacation so they have red eye flights from newcrest to San Machino and they're gonna have the party at the park there. Harvest Fest was awful for some of the kids, successful for others. That's to be expected and I really am gonna attribute that to Jordan died a few days before Harvest Fest. So that's gotta be hard. Oh gosh, Lena just reached gourmet cooking Good level job. 10. That's amazing. This is Oni's recipe mod. And this is one of the few mods that I don't get from CurseForge. I actually have to go and get it from their site. But these are cotton candy parfaits. And oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It looks like something you get from the sugar factory. If you know, you know. <laughs> Not something I could even handle eating, but I let the kids tackle it. <laughs> these came from there too. This is the, uh, the brunch special. Lena has the fresh chef trait. So actually nothing will spoil. But just to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to put everything in a picnic basket. Hey, is the man of the house. I'm going to have him carry that picnic basket. <laughs> oh my gosh, Leland and Liliana have a difficult dynamic. I wonder if I should accept this. And you know what? I'm going to say yes, because other than when they were toddlers, I don't see Leland and Liliana interacting with each other on their own unless I prompt it. Unlike Liliana and Carmen or even Carmen and Leland. They are about to age up to that teenager stage. I think that this is great because what it is doing is giving us natural gameplay. Lena is going to see if she could get KA interested in a little woohoo. Now that this infant has aged up just a little bit, this will be their first go around at the woohoo. <laughs> in a while when i put these mirrors behind their bed i thought it'd be a cute decoration which i really do like it but it's also a little, a little freaky <laughs> we will pause here when we come back we will definitely be at the triplets birthday party i had said that we would be back <laughs> once it was time for the party however we got the curse book again let's get ka to try to find this thing. That's Joshua, that's Lena's brother. He did not show up at their dad's memorial. So I'm actually going to have her come over and hug him and ask him how he's doing. The curse book is back in the barn. It likes being in the barn. So this time I'm gonna have KA mail it away. Last time I didn't do that because I was kind of worried, you know, where would it go? Would it go to one of our friends or one of our relatives? I'm gonna follow him. We saw him stump that curse book last time. Oh, I don't even think Lena's clumsy. So it's interesting that she's tripping. I'm gonna tell you, these curse books are real because things tend to go bad when they're around. Last time was horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a couple episodes ago oh my gosh our children caught on fire two of them it was just pretty bad uh, so he mailed it <gasps> great job taking care of that curse book as a result the unit rating went up oh lena's definitely gonna work from home i didn't even know she had to work today so she can just come and find her muse and get her work assignment done let's try to negotiate a bonus as a matter of fact okay it doesn't cook a lot but 
he's doing some Genzu knife tricks and such, so I don't know. Maybe we need to let him take over more. Let's go ahead to the event early. I'm going to have the kids come down here. I guess I just never pay a lot of attention to this part. The baby, I sent her to daycare because I think for now she'll be better doing that. When I was going to offer K.A. a massage, she is sick again. I am going to have them come set up over here because they need to get the party popping. I did not know that it was a bar here. Shut up. Why do I not use this park more? Let me have him place this in the world. And hopefully he doesn't do something crazy like go all the way across town. Why on the ground? Okay, empty the basket. Leland's got to blow the candles out first. All right, Leland's aging up. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. I think he's going to try to be a bodybuilder. It's Carmen's turn. So, Lena, they're cheering. All right, Carmen's aging up. And let's get Liliana on over here to age up. I'm sure their friends are somewhere around. The park is too big, probably, to have the party that's about all that it is. Layla sent them some gifts. Uh, oh my gosh this one looks like Chris Hill from my other series but it's a good reason for that silly, silly. these are my sim selves grandchildren and uh Chris is based Chris Hill was based off of my real life sister so that's why there's all kinds of food around I think Lena's gonna grab a servant there is so much food here I think it's too much because we couldn't find the other sims let's have K.A. go on and make a drink He'll make some drinks that's kid appropriate, like juice on the rocks, <laughs> sugar cane juice. <laughs> He's our local bartender now. We're hanging with the hearse. This is where we're going to end the episode. All our teens have aged up, so the next video from the hearse, look for their makeovers. I'm excited about the next phase of their gameplay. So, until next time, remember, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.